to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm at Ivna Library uh, in Mira Flores at the children's room to talk a little bit about libraries again. I made a short video when I joined the library it's here and today I want to talk about the right environment when studying. Not just for reading but for studying you need a great place and it's great to have lots of books, but if you don't have a good place to study, uh, they are not going to be very useful. You need a place like this one that has enough space, enough silence, and a harmony that is going to help you focus on what you're doing, on what you are studying. That's why libraries are great, because in general, they are quiet places that are organized, and where what you have to do is just study. Many libraries have a space, especially for children like this one, in which they can start learning how to concentrate in a friendly environment. And then, since Christmas is coming, I totally recommend this library over the one that you prefer. Of course, I will recommend this one. And then I'm gonna show you some of my favorite books in this library because they are for you whenever you want them for just a small fee. It's different when you go to a bookstore and you buy your book and you can do whatever you want with your books and when you go to the library and you need some other techniques so you get the most out of the books that you can't get home, for example, like dictionaries in this case. I don't know if I told you, but this library has lots of books and not only in English, they also have books in Spanish. So it's not just that you're gonna come and read in English or to study in English. You can just come to relax, to have a nice time. Okay, so my favorite part is dictionaries because it's not just that you need one dictionary, but there are different types of dictionaries. For example, pronunciation dictionaries, dictionaries uh, that are for native speakers, dictionaries that are for learners, dictionaries that help you use the word better like the activator dictionary and, and i'm going to show you later so you have the one that you need particularly at any given time then for learning also they have lots of books uh, for learning <laughs> textbooks uh, for practice of course you can write on them but you can bring your own pen and paper <laughs> books about vocabulary about grammar listening pronunciation anything that you need, you can use them here. And then for taking home, you can take uh, for learning graded readers and uh, then for extensive reading, just any book that you wish. And I recommend starting with comics because they're easy reading, not too much text or graphic novels that are similar to graded readers, really, depending on your level of English. And then you have the children's section. I strongly recommend the children's section because it has uh, words that are important and that you should know in a language that you will understand. And you can also read them with children at home. So don't be afraid of just reading books for children. They are very useful for learning English. So I have to say again that having joining a library, it's a great Christmas gift. For someone who wants to learn a new language or who wants to uh, find the joy in reading, libraries are great. Okay, so this is the, the children's room. This is my mom. And when you enter, here you can have a TV. Probably they also have some um, events for children. And as I told you, it's a friendly environment. And then you have the books. For example, here you have books in Spanish, games, and then some books in English and Spanish, uh, places for, ch for children or adults uh, to choose where they prefer to be. I love these tiny seats on the floor. I'm gonna bring my nephew here, definitely. 
And it's interesting that in this section, and it's usually that you have parents that accompany their children, so they also have um, some uh, parents' collection, so parents can read about how to help their children while their children are learning. And now I'm going to show you the other parts. And this is the rest of the library. It's quite big. You see here people standing. And I'm going to show you first the section of literature. And this is in English and Spanish. As I told you, all of this section has um, like popular books, like classics, and also modern literature, like all the books of Stephen King or so. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, this part that has in the comics. This is a comic section. And this is what I recommend starting with. And I've read the original on the, the Garfield uh, comic and it's wonderful. I'm not a fan of, you know, Thor and all those people, but you have also some great things in Spanish, like Mafalda to read here. And what do I see here? Uh -huh. I think this time I'm going to check out... Uh, one of these books yeah this one no i don't think so right calvin and the hops have you read it it's really really good i'm gonna take it home you can take comics for a week and literature in general for two weeks then in this section of the library you have the graded readers i already showed you a little bit of this they are divided by um, their level. Then you have some toys over here. And on uh, in this part of the library, you have the section that is for uh, your English skills. Uh, for example, here, this is for international exams like the SAT, TOEFL, IELTS. You have all of that material, you see. And then all the books that they use. Oh, well. Here are books for international tests. And then books for learning English. And if you're ready, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The dictionaries. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I told you, but my favorite parts, the dictionaries. So here we have loads of dictionaries and different kinds of dictionaries too. I have to come and see them one by one because they are so many and they are all so beautiful. And each of them works for a different purpose. Like I told you, the activator, similar to Word selector for example and you can uh, use uh, dictionaries for synonyms dictionary for advanced learners dictionary bilingual dictionaries any kind of dictionary that you want this um, you have here a dictionary for example of common errors probably made for Spanish speakers so we make the same mistakes when learning a very very important one is the picture dictionary picture dictionaries are awesome for associating words uh, to ideas not to translating and remember I talked to you about the language activator that helps you uh, read and write read read now that helps you speak more naturally. Um, on this section, we have some more books that I don't know what they are all about, but we have the magazine section uh, here, and there's also 
a section a section with computers because you have access also to the internet and to also build books and magazines online this part is also literature and people studying and reading they look so great